All right, guys. Welcome everybody back to the Battle Mob Podcast. I am I am one of your hosts. I'm Nexus with three S's. Joined here by Cuck Me Six 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 and Young Beta Nicholas. This is episode. I don't remember what episode this is. Forty four. Forty four. And uh, yeah, so we got some. We got some mediocre bangers today. Mediocre. And, uh... <laughs> I'm going to give you some facts about Rosa Parks. Let's go. That's one of the intros. That that month ended in, in March. Isn't that February? It ended in March. Ended, uh, yeah, it's true. I'm still going to give you five facts about Rosa Parks. Eventually. Okay. Eventually. I love Rosa Parks. Yeah, yeah. First, um... I'm going to delete this one because we're just not <laughs> going to do that one. Um, um, we're not going to do that one. We're not going to do that one. I'll just give you the facts of Rosa Parks. How about that? <laughs> yeah, you should, you should do that. Okay, here's five amazing facts about Rosa Parks. You know who Rosa Parks is? She's the the lady... That got uh, kicked out of the seat on the bus. What? That's crazy. That's not one of the facts. That's I'm just saying who she oh, is. Okay. If you don't know, <laughs> I'd be weird if that was a fact. But that is one of the facts. It's the numbers. It's the sixth fact. But these are the sixth five fact. facts. Uh, Rosa Parks' mother was a teacher, and her father was a carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um. She's African, Scots Irish, and Native what? American. What? She's African? <laughs> Just shut up. Uh, she graduated high school in 1933. It's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Parks became involved in the civil rights movement as early as December 1943. That's pretty good. And uh, civil rights movement. Then you know they just want the same rights as everyone else. Oh. You know, anyway. In 1922, she p- published an autobiography called Rosa Parks, My Story. She wasn't... Oh. When did she die? Um, I think it was recent, wasn't it? I don't know. Rosa Parks death. I'll just search her name. I won't search that part. She died in 2005. That was a long time ago. Yeah, you were like uh, three. Yeah. That's a guess. I was three, yeah. She died at 92. <laughs> Damn. The real question is, did she ever get that seat back on the bus? We don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she ever went back on. Did. I think she did. Her ghost yeah. might have. I mean, it was 2005, so I'm assuming. I'm assuming she did. Maybe she never rode a bus again. She probably eventually learned how to drive. Not after that. Nah, she, <laughs> anyway, she, we're moving I'm on not from this. Say that. <laughs> it was awful fact. What do you mean? They're Maybe about they Rosa spread Park. her ashes on that seat. I don't know if she was cremated. She might have not been. That would also be weird as fuck. Maybe Rosa, they cut that seat Rosa out Park's and put it in the casket for her. No, they cut the seat out and she put it in her house. But then that same white okay, dude broke into her did. house and kicked her off. <laughs> okay, that was all the facts. Uh, I guess here's another thing. Uh, Kendrick and Drake have been beefing lately. And I just want to explain why? my tweet. I don't know why. You already fucking asked me and I don't know why. Yeah, but now I can actually hear why. I don't know Instead why. I don't know why. I'm telling you. What are, what are the this is about? They're like dissing each other about something. I don't know. I'm sure Nicholas is Googling it right now. Should I be? I wasn't. To search why is Kendrick and Drake dissing. But my tweet was, since Kendrick is like Kendrick won versus Drake, and then Eminem's the only other one that gets the diss battles with anyone, mainly uh, MGK, and they both, you know, both Kendrick and Eminem won, they should now 1v1. That was it. 
That's all the tweet was. All good. We should we should take a break and listen to both songs to see what the beef is actually about. There's three songs. We should listen to all three. That would take forever because they're like eight minutes long. Some of them. <laughs> the one I, I haven't listened to any of them, but the one from Kendrick, I'm pretty sure, is like 13 minutes long. Because Kendrick did two on Spotify, and then he has one somewhere else. And then I think Drake's done like two. It's a lot of tracks. What are they about? Oh my god. They're just dissing each other. I don't know. We haven't listened to them. I've listened to them. Why are they dissing each other? Oh my god. Ask me one more fucking time. Say it again. I just want to know, like, who started the beef? Why? I'm Googling because Nicholas isn't fucking... Why is Kendrick beefing Drake? It's not one straight answer. Because I think at some point he got, like, J. Cole and them dissed... I think J. Cole dissed Kendrick on his new album. Yeah. I don't know how Drake got involved, though. And then for some reason, Drake's part of it. Why? Apparently, I don't know why. We don't know. We're trying to figure this out. I know one of the things is... I know Drake likes to get with young women. Yeah, we knew that. Like... He's always hanging around with that one kid. Well, that's probably... Which one? He has a son with him all the time. Millie Bobby Brown? Is he? He was always with that girl, texting her. That was a big thing, like, a few years when she was young. I don't know if he did anything with her. People were saying why... Well, he claims that he didn't, I think, what I read. But that was one of the things that was pretty big is he was clearly in his uh, 30s or something like that. And she was only like 16 at the time or something like that, 17. He said, we're just texting buddies. That was one of the uh, that was one of the things. But. uh, Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know why. Big thing back then. All I know is it started with J. Cole. I've never heard that one, but I think even like Future is part of it somehow too. Who's that? You know Future is. I know of him. Uh, he the he did that song, Mask Up or Mask Off, Mask Off. I only I only know the Joiner Lucas version. Joiner Lucas did that. He did a remix. A remix where he was like this, where he was like dissing him or something. Pretty good song. There's a feature has a meme. What? I oh, fuck. I forget the future meme. It's pretty good though. I think Which it's like I like. I think no, it's I like Joyner cheesecake. Lucas... <laughs> I, I like cheesecake. That shit's funny. That's a future meme. Yeah. Oh. I don't know anything about memes. Yeah, we know. Thanks. You said the chug jug? <laughs> I did. I was um, lately, I've had this obsession with wearing beanies. And uh, <laughs> I have one that says... <laughs> yeah. I have one that says... I said beanies, by the way. And um, one of them says Italia on the front. And Kumi thinks right, I'm part right, of a right. gang. Yeah, it just looks like you're part of a gang. You think I'm going to get shot up? Yeah. Is, what, Repping what, that it, out here. What Italian gangs are there? The Mafia? I don't know. Was there even the Mafia? Is that really a gang? The Mafia's though? Italian. Yeah. Well, I know they're Italian, but they're, they're not even a, that's not a thing anymore. 100% is. Yeah, it is. I mean... Is the mafia active? Yeah, if 100%. they are, I'm joining. 100%. Is the mafia, sir? And the mafia is currently most active in northeastern U.S. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Answer straight away. Mainly in New York, Philly, Baltimore, New Jersey, Pittsburgh, Buffalo. High Italian and Jewish rates. New England. That one guy just, that just lit himself on fire was complaining. Oh, well, not complaining, but he was... Uh... He lit himself on fire? Yeah, in New York, because he said that the uh, the police department was a front for the mafia. So there you go. This mafia dude got arrested recently. So it looks like with the 
the Drake J. Cole thing. It looks like Drake and J. Cole did some song, then had like little disses in there to Kendrick, and Kendrick responded in another song, a guest verse on Future and Metro Boomin's song. Uh, wait, was that him? Yeah. Metro Boomin? And then Jake, yeah, yeah. And then J. Cole responded on the on his new album. So, so I'm pretty sure at one point J. Cole even said sorry to Kendrick I for think doing so. that. But then Drake just didn't. Because Drake out here slanging his meat in a mirror, thinking he's all that. Slanging his meat. I've seen his cock. <laughs> Have you? We've I think we've talked about this before that I've seen his cock. I know, no, we did. asked for pictures and I couldn't find it. Never delivered. I could probably do it right now. Drake cock. He, <laughs> should, he, Drake he was cock. helicoptering it. He was helicoptering his cock. They're like, where can I find the video of Drake's meat? That's the first thing that pops up. <laughs> oh, I found it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh really? Oh god. It's called Drake's penis. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Drake. Yes, penis. I'm over eighteen. I want to see Drake's cock. <laughs> I'm putting it in the chat. You see Drake's god penis. <laughs> ah! All he sees it. You have to All he sees open a plus it. big oh. It's a video. It says Reddit. Yeah, just open <laughs> it. It should play. You have to click the link. You want it to verify you're eighteen. And then he's like slanging oh, his meat oil in the mirror. My guy is slanging his meat in the mirror. Uh, all the listeners, we're currently watching Drake's um, exposed penis. This <laughs> um, is leaked. If you guys want to see it, it's called uh, Drake Leak Drake. That's what the page is called. If you guys want to see Drake's cock. Right, there you go. You That's think? Drake's cock. Nice. It's pretty big. Nice uh, he's got good form. Good form. It's just like, anyways. It's, I feel like it's not even like hard. So it's like maybe it is erected, but it's so like, big that it's like no yeah, structure. I feel like a best size. <laughs> you know, when you get. <laughs> You're on here. Can't about. say from personal experience, by the way. <laughs> Mine doesn't get quite long enough to. It's usually fully stiffed. Yeah, it's like uh, they're just not actually hard. It's just like <laughs> like sometimes with, with showers, especially, you know, it's just like it's always hard. So it's like never actually hard. What if he's a like grower? Shops, <laughs> what if that's him not grown? And he got bigger. Like a fucking elephant trunk cock. Must be nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's how that would come. But yeah, they're beefing, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed those Rosa Park facts. <laughs> next time, I was gonna do uh, the Rosa Park facts. I was gonna do Martin Luther King. Maybe we'll do that next time. Yeah, maybe next February. Well, wait. I'll do a bunch of. We'll do a whole episode of just facts about uh. I guess cheated on his wife. Um... That's it. That's the only fact. Those types of things. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the only, that's the only fact. Black. He cheated on his wife and was black. <laughs> it's not looking too good for him. <laughs> that's not a bad. I did not mean that. <laughs> the, the second, the third part of that sentence is not great. When I said it's not looking good for him, because I said he was also. And we're moving on to the Reddit confessions. I have five confessions here. <laughs> some of them are um, depressing, but some of them are pretty good. Because I thought, yeah, you know, I when you... my pants the other day. Anyway, some of these are like, I think like two of them are like really fucked, and then three of them are like, r like, like two of them are weird. Like this one's called, I used to masturbate all the time and I feel like, and it's all cut off, but he like jerks off all the time. It's fine. We're going to start with A. Okay. Um, this one's called, What I'm Not Telling My Kids. And also, if you guys don't know how this works, I'm talking to the listeners. 
Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna read them a little story, and then they're gonna decide if we can forgive them or not. If we can't forgive them, then we're going to contact them and tell them they're a piece of shit. Yeah. 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 Uh, this one is. All these are from the r slash confessions page. This one's from five years ago from Queen B four five six seven. So if you guys want to go uh, on <laughs> on to Reddit and just absolutely cyber bully this bitch. Uh... Just cyber bully this bitch, even if it's okay. Even but, if it's uh, six years ago. It's from Queen B4567. She said, what I'm not telling my kids. I recently won a large amount of money, and I feel like you fucked me up. Okay? Okay. Don't fucking speak when I'm speaking, motherfucker. I recently won a large amount of money. And I'm not telling my children. She won a lot of money. She's not telling her kids. They have sucked the life out of me. They what? They sucked? They... <laughs> They have sucked the life out of me. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? They have sucked the life out of me for a quarter of a century. I don't speak to either of them because they have done drugs and they have let them rule their lives. Karma is a bitch because I'm not spending it on them. Is this what the post says? Yeah. Oh my god. You think I was fucking freestyling a fucking confession? Oh, it's terrible. She's not going to share the money it's with terrible. her kids because they're fucking drug-addicted pieces of shit. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. It also says they're no, eight years old. It. They're what? No, they're not. They're not. They're not. I, I don't know. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Like it doesn't say hold. Well, hey, my name Nicholas. Yeah. I fucking... Yeah, shut up, bitch. I'm just providing insight. <laughs> I shut the fuck up. Um, there's no dad in the picture. <laughs> that's being that that is being that is you're never gonna know what i said listeners i'm i'm gonna leave it in but i'm also gonna like bleep what i said but i think you can kind of put together what i said it was hilarious but um that was crazy i'm gonna forgive her because fuck these kids yeah no that's fair i mean if you have 25 year olds and they're addicted to drugs and you win money yeah fuck them yeah i agree with that sure yeah fuck them kids um, fuck them kids remember go Don't cyber bully their them. addiction uh go cyber bully the kids they're probably on the the streets of somewhere all right or dead they might be dead uh class never know they might be off that fence and all and just died anyway, this, this one's from uh R slash confessions. All of them are okay. They're, they're, that's the you whole fucking that. point. They're, they're, all of these are from R slash confessions. This you one's said that already. I know I said it anyway. You said it already. This one is called "I am the one who farted and ruined lunch for everyone," and this one's from Cool Me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had fried chicken delivered to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Someone had fried chicken delivered to the office for all to share. The smell was potent and delicious, filling the entire building. That was the fried chicken. We're talking about the fried chicken right there. Shortly afterward, I farted. <laughs> one of those long, warm ones. It's like that one in that video I sent Kumi the other day. And it oh, was yeah. also very potent. I can send you the video, Nicholas, if you want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> but both from me and this, this dude were potent. I didn't smell it, though. But anyway, the smells... <laughs> sure the you didn't. The smells mingled in a way that nature never intended. Needless to say, everyone was confused and upset. I saw someone gag into their hand and put down their chicken thigh, never picking it back up. Nobody knows it was me. Hey, it happens, you know. Sometimes, hey, I'd if... say, you know, you can tell when a fart is going to come out. You can go somewhere else. Yeah, but the thing is, you like... Sometimes, sometimes you can't. But here's the thing, Nicholas. You like to wash your hands every two fucking minutes, so I knew you were going to say that. Because I was like, hmm, maybe you shouldn't fart in our room full of people. Because <laughs> you're, like you're like a clean, freaky, like goofy-ass fella. So. Yeah, it's actually unreasonable to not want people to fart uh, in a room full of people. <laughs> I forgot that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hey, he can't go... What if it was coming up? What if he, like... 
But there's also like, what if he shit himself? You know, he's older. You can't trust a fart when you're older. Fuck, I can't trust one now. <laughs> I you can't trust a fart. I shit myself. <laughs> I might shit myself. <laughs> Speaking of shitting yourself, can you ever shit yourself from a <laughs> fart? I think I've talked about this, but yes. I think we actually have, yeah. I remember yeah, was... talking about the fact that he oh, grabbed terrible. a turd in the in the toilet. Yeah, that's fucking Crushed gross. It up. Yeah, I've we don't start done that too. Yeah. So okay. Means you're gonna just stick your hand in some shit. Yeah, right? but I'm not gonna put my hand into the toilet and like or wherever you were gripping this turd. I'm not gonna grip it, like that dog skull. My, I'm not gonna grip it. In my, in my toilet. <laughs> We're moving yeah, on. It's a piss, not so anybody else's. I'm, I'm going to forgive this fella. Nicholas isn't. Comey's the deciding vote. Um, Are you forgetting the dude that cleared a room with his ass? I'm not going to forgive him. The fuck? Let's go. No. Fuck this guy. Um. Yeah, that one's... His name was uh, Kayleon. If you guys want to go abuse him. <laughs> All right, next one. Alien. I think this is one. Of, this is one of the. Um... Wait, guys, talk, talk, hurry. Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, we're good. I didn't check if the right Discord was being recorded. It, it is. We're good. That would have been depressing. Jesus. I would have. I would have taken the news from that dog. <laughs> that was just great content. You would have been recording. Yeah, but it's fine. This is one it? is. Yeah, it's fine. This one is a. Um, is it? Sh- would you stop speaking? This one is called Hola from El Orto Slide. Wait, well, I said that wrong. Hola from El Otter Slide. It starts with Hola. What does Hola, hola. mean? Is that hi? Hi. See, I didn't take Spanish. Yes. I got uh, two. I got two Hispanic dudes with me. He's like, you gotta, like. Anyway, I don't this speak one. Spanish. I just know what it means. I'd say that's speaking Spanish. Anyway, I don't speak Spanish. Anyway, we're moving on. Um, that's the name is Hola from El Otter Slide. Also, I want to bring this up real quick. Going back to the intro part of this uh, podcast. We'll also, the Rosa Parks part, or no, not that. Uh, I guess no. You guys know the movies Jeepers Creepers, right? Of course, I've heard of it. I uh, for some reason this video popped up it was like the lore of jeepers creepers it's completely irrelevant to everything that we were talking about a second ago but it's like apparently he's like a uh like it was like it was like about the comic book of jeepers creepers because the birds there's like a six issue comic book about him of like we his should, origin you should keep it for the pod because i want to know this he i mean we could talk about it now it's just the pod they were different that. A different uh, pod, I mean. Fucking. Uh, fuck that would be pretty fucking... cool. <laughs> I didn't even, was... I mean, the only origin we know is, you know. Well, this explains the whole got... entire thing. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know who wrote it. I don't know if it's canon. Doesn't matter. Still cool. But they explain. We'll save it then. For when we do the, the ghost app. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> back to the Reddit confessions. Uh, this one is depressing, but then it gets happy. This one's called, I clean up my house every morning and come back to it trashed after work. And I couldn't be happier because of it. And like I said, this dude's name is Ola from El Otter Slide. <laughs> okay, from where? His, his, uh, I don't have an, a, a fucking area code for him. Somewhere in America. El Otter Slide. From El Otter Slide. Hola. The other slide? It's like kind of racist now, so we're going to move on. Is it though? Uh, the right. Yes! <laughs> I'm going to read this now. So I hate cleaning sure. the house. Do you want to fucking read it? Like, interrupt me again. Hola, Hola from <laughs> El <Sure>. Outer Slide. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I hate cleaning the house. Sometimes I enjoy getting in the groove to some music, but mostly it's just tedious and don't get any hope with it. I'm pretty good at reading stories. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was fucking insane. When my now wife moved in to... Fuck. First moved in together, 
she was going through a bout of depression. And for a few years, I would go to her bed, wake her up, go to work, come back. Most days, she was still sleeping. Or if awake, she was yet to leave the bed. Can't relate. Anyway, um, so every day, the living room was the same way. And it was left as I left it. Sometimes going weeks being untouched. And it started to make me feel lonely because of it. I lived by myself all over again. He's saying he felt like he did because his wife was depressed. As if yeah. nothing happens. Yeah, I know. It's fine. If nothing happens when I wasn't looking. Okay, that sentence. I, I stopped the story too early. So now that sentence sounded weird. Growing up in a family of six with many pets and a lot of... This is really long, by the way. We still got like 20 paragraphs. Yeah. She's been slowly... Oh, shit. I, where was I? Oh, no. Grow, we're going to restart from there. Growing up in a family of six... I'm sorry, listeners. Um, Four professionals. We're going to restart from the very beginning. Hola <laughs> from El Author Slide. <laughs> El Author Slide. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Growing up in a family of six with many pets, with a lot of strays to touch. What the fuck? My folks allow my friends to touch my bum? What? <laughs> <laughs> We're skipping that part. There was never a dull moment in the house, for better oh, or worse, shit. which made me feel like it was a home. After no small amount of therapy and constant love, care, and commitment, she's been slowly cracking through her depression with only occasional bad days. And we have recently had our lovely daughter join our lives. She just moved to a new area and a new house. My wife plays with the kid in the living room, gets her changed to the bedroom. They play with the kid, and basically the, the kid fucks up the living room with the wife. That's the whole fucking story. Uh-huh. So he's happy that his wife is now not as depressed. Uh-huh. That was it. So the real question, are we going to forgive this fucking ungrateful bitch for the years? Well, is it better now? Apparently, yeah. Do you not fucking listening to the story I just yeah. read like eight times? <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you paused a few times on it. Okay, the basis you, of the story. At the beginning of the story. And then you redid it. And yeah, then you okay. Just... I'm trying to re-explain it so you fuckers can understand. At the beginning of the story, he was, he, fuck you. At the beginning of the story, he was depressed that his wife was deep. No, he wasn't depressed. Fuck! <laughs> he, wasn't his wife was depressed and he was sad that his wife was depressed because he was like, oh, the living room is just, it's exactly the way I left it when I went to work. Like, because his wife would never leave bed. She was, she wouldn't leave bed, give no head. <laughs> no bed, no head. Nope. She stay in bed, no head. That's not. But then eventually, she went to therapy. They had a daughter. And now the wife is a lot happier. They're playing with the kitties. The kid. The kitty. The kid, not a kitty, like a cat. They had a child. Daughter. It said daughter. Don't know how old. It said newborn. Oh, she didn't have a cat? <laughs> she did not have a cat. They might have a cat. It's not part of the story. They might. I don't know. But now that they messed their... cat? There's no... I just said they don't have a cat. There's no cat. There's no oh, pussy. You just said you didn't know they had a cat. There's no cat in the story. They might have one. I don't know. I'll You're hit just them up. Assuming that they don't. I'm assuming they don't have a cat. They have a fucking dog, a goldfish. I don't give a fuck. It's not relevant. <laughs> We're moving on. We forgive him. She was just a little sad. Or it really happens. sad. I forgive. I forgive her. There's some edits here, but we don't need to read them because it doesn't matter. But it could be irrelevant. It could be relevant to the no, story. No, it's not. It's just, Maybe just it tells us if it's not. They, had a dog or cat. they don't. It's not. I read it. All it said. <laughs> they said they had a cat. All it, no. All it said. Let me fucking speak. All it <laughs> said was thanks for all the support on this post. That's all it said, and that we have a cat. <laughs> Let's go. There's no cat. So now was she playing with the the cat or the kid? <laughs> they don't have a cat. <laughs> so you lying to us. Next, okay. The next story is from a deleted account, not from Ola. <laughs> Ola. That, that bitch is gone. Um, this one's really quick. It's not even a story for this one. Uh, Nicholas is gonna love this one. It's called. It's not even. It's just. It's just all it is. I listen to mommy ASMR. Oh, there was a story. I remember oh, this I one did that. have a this one did have a story. It got deleted. 
I remember what it said too. It was like, I like to listen to mommy ASMR because it makes me feel like wanted or something. So you don't have the story now. No, it's deleted. It says, sorry, this post was deleted by the person who originally posted it. Why didn't I, you screenshot it? I got this shit fucking yesterday. This bitch deleted this shit. Now I have to get a new one. It's fine. We won't. All right now to the juicer. But yeah, mommy ASMR. You ever watched uh, ASMR? I was, I, was look, I was looking forward to that one. Never watched a mommy ASMR. I got, what I is got it? a mommy already. It's just like someone ASMR like RPing as a mother. Talking to a child or something. What's yes. RPing? I know what RPing is, you fucking rat. <laughs> yes! Let the hate flow through you! This What's one's up, also... Right? Three for three. Right now. Three for three? Yeah, three for three. Grill items. And one dollar large big gulp. Anyway. That's this one's... Uh, back to Reddit Confessions. This one's called... It's also from a deleted account, but the story is still here. It's called... I deleted? I Deleted, motherfucker. It's called, I used to masturbate all the time and I feel like a total creep for it. Um, My name is Kumi. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no. So this one is, I am a 24 male and back when I was around 14 to 16, I really struggled with the hormones and horniness. I was masturbating all the time. One day as much as eight times with usually being Jesus. five to six. I usually try to be quiet and hide it as best as I could, but sometimes it was while I was sitting in the backseat of our family car. The fuck? That's the fucked. Fuck? <laughs> That's fucking weird <laughs> as fuck. Or sitting next... Oh, wait. This is worse. This is the next sentence worse. Or sitting next to my mom on a plane. Oh. He, not only is he fucking like 35,000 feet in the air, but he's next to his mother jerking his little cock. We're talking about children's <laughs> cock. At the time, I didn't think about it much, but um, now that I feel like a total creep, I don't know if I can uh, ever forgive myself. Any advice? Yeah, don't Was jerk off on a plane. Helping him? Probably not. Yeah, let's, let's she had that. to have known. She had to have seen him. Anyway, that we're gonna read a comment for this one. This guy says, "Don't give it another thought. Masturbation is totally harmless." Yeah. Hey, listen. Yes, that Bruce. You don't want to think you understand. This kid was jerking off on a plane, in the seat next to his, mom. Next to his mother. Public. Bro was on. A, he, what if he busted a load and that shit stank? You ever had stinky <laughs> semen? I'm surprised he yeah. wouldn't be able to have any more after he's done it like eight times in a day. Jesus Christ. Maybe Christ. maybe he grew up. Maybe he grew up to be the one with that busted that world record that we just talked about in the last episode. The nine hour fifty seven minute guy. No? Uh I didn't know what you were talking about for a second, but yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, the guy that masturbated for world for the record of nine hours and fifty seven minutes or something like that. Yeah. Maybe he grew up to be that guy. Probably. I don't mean I think this guy's from America. That guy was from Japan. Oh, oh yeah, that's that right. He was from Japan. And I think he was a grown man, not a 16-year-old. I don't think they would take a 16-year-old in the Guinness World Record book for jerking off. You never know. Let me hit 2024. Up, let me hit up them and be like, hey, what are your guys' thoughts on uh, children jerking off world record? Um, I know what you're thinking. How many times have I jerked off in one day? I don't know. Four or five? Yeah, on a good day, on a good day, uh, back when I was young and maybe like four. Four? Four? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you met four times. Okay. <laughs> I was like four yeah. years old? <laughs> <laughs> back when I was like four. <laughs> back, when I was, back when I was four, I was jerking off. Um, Definitely not four years old. Anyway, I have to get another Reddit confession. Um, this one says, I orgasmed so hard I had a seizure. That was the first one that popped up. That was the first one that Wait, came we, up. We didn't say if we were we didn't say if we were forgiving that kid. I'm not forgiving that kid. He's jerking off on a plane next to his mother. Yeah, I'm not forgiving him. Fuck that kid. Nicholas probably does because he likes little kids, but Okay. Wait a minute. Anyway, we're gonna read this one. It's called I Orgasm So Hard I Had a Seizure. This one's from twenty one hours ago. It's from Lee 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 Lee. 
That's the user. <laughs> 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 That's good shit right there. Um, this is something I have been meaning to get off my chest for a long time. Uh, probably the semen. And please don't judge me. It's embarrassing and awful. But I was going through a dry spell like a year. For like a year. They didn't put that. But I'm going to put it there because it makes more sense. But I got a new toy. It was like a clitoris sucker. <laughs> uh, think of the, the rose but more powerful. I used it with a dildo and the climax was so intense I had a grand mal seizure. I have epilepsy. That's not new, but I normally have seizures in my sleep. So when I had this one, like less than a minute because the porn was still playing, I fell out of the bed and peed the whole nine yards. I took a minute before I could somewhat compose myself and I had to hit my head and my hurt my arm. I called 911 because my arm was, and then the story ends. There's no more. Let's see if it is. This a dude. Yeah, sucking the clitoris. No, it's a clitoris the sucker. Clitoris. Clitoris. <laughs> the clitoris. Maybe it's a woman. Is your... It is a woman. It was a woman. They have a clitoris, uh, motherfucker. We just said that. Uh, well, it's 2024. You never know. It's a woman. I do know. I forgive her. I mean, she's just getting. It's not done. It's not done. It's not over. I forgive I... her anyway. I called 911 because my arm was hurting bad. I explained that I was using my clitoris suck. No, it doesn't say that. I explained I had epilepsy, but they did not. They did an x-ray, and I fractured my soldier. My soldier. Fuck my shoulder. Good soldier boy. <laughs> yeah, she fucked her shoulder up, and she had a clitoris sucker. Do you want yeah. me to read the next one? Do you have one? No. <laughs> I thought you had another one. I can put the website up. Let me find one. Let me see. The next one, I had my best fr best friend's girlfriend's panties in my car for over a year before disposing of them. There you go. A couple of years ago, their washing machine broke, and like a good friend, I volunteered to help with the washing of my best mate, a guy, and his girlfriend. My girl volunteered to help do the washing too, and for an entirely understandable reasons, we agreed I'd do his and she'd do hers. We collected the washing and bags in our car and did their laundry before running it back to them. Even though I didn't wash her clothes, I ferry them back in my car along with his bag. I can remember putting them in my car and setting off to drop them off at their house. I remember when I got there, the bags had tilted slightly in my boot when in transit. No harm done. Tilt the bags up. Uh, I can't see the rest of it. I you have to click on it. Oh, shit. Uh, in the house, drop them off. Um, no harm done. Tilt the bags up, tie the drawstring on them properly. No idea why we didn't do it properly beforehand and drop them off. This event had no consequences for a year or so until one day I decided to clean my car head to toe. I got into every crevice and nook I could find and hoovered, wiped, washed, and sprayed. When I came to the boot, I lifted the floor up and found three pairs of panties and a loose sock near my spare wheel. It didn't hit me at first, as I had no freaking clue what they were, but then it dawned on me that it must be hers when they fell out during transit. I'd seen under the boot floor when I bought the car, and there were no panties there. Without being too crude, they didn't bear any resemblance to the ones worn by my girl. I also didn't particularly want to give, albeit an innocent, explanation of these bits of string in my boot. I then panicked, unsure of how I could bring her panties back and nothing else. We'd not seen them for months. We weren't likely to see them for a while. And if memory serves me right, they were on holiday at the time. It had been the last year, at least, since we'd washed these. And I had nothing to suggest. And I'd had nothing to suggest they noticed them gone. In a semi-stupid move, I just put them in a small carrier bag and dumped them in a waste clothing bin. I'm not sure if I should have just return them or if what I did was smart but they didn't look like anything expensive so I figured she didn't miss them that was yeah. that was underwhelming I probably would have taken them and then jerked off onto them and then gave them back clean just... underwear yeah I'm saying I would have busted a load onto them and then gave them back you're sick man we're gonna move on from that you're one sick. there's absolute shit you're yeah, it was much more underwhelming. <laughs> this You're one's so called thick. Shut Up.
This one's called, my cousin had a nude picture of our grandma on his wall. He didn't know till I drunkenly <laughs> told him. Our grandma was an art photographer who died a few years ago. We took our pics at the house. My cousin grabbed a framed photo of a bare-chested lady from the neck down to the buttocks. He liked it a lot and hung it up. I took a lot of camera equipment and negatives. I played around with the enlarger and his negatives. I saw the set of photos the framed picture was from. This one was her was the face of her grandmother in the 1940s. There are definitely artsy photos, and she was a good-looking lady. Last Easter, we were at the house, and I told them. I ended the sentence a little bit, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. He basically... Uh, he, you have naked he was, pictures of your grandma. That's, that's weird. It's just weird. Put He's, that put that along with the kid jerking off back next to his mom. And this comment says, bet he cranked a couple out to that picture too, poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> poor bastard. I don't forgive him. That's disgusting. He didn't know it was, though. It was unknown. Care. His name is Shifu One. Shifu One. That's that's that explains everything. He's a Shifu. Fucking Shifu. But um punk ass kid. <laughs> that's by it. B R Ken seven seven. I have a fart fetish. As far <laughs> back as high school is the earliest I can remember it. But I have a distinct fetish for girls farting. I still like other things like regular <laughs> sexual activities and girls outside of farting. But when girls fart, I definitely get a rise from it. I also like my own farts when I make a noise. Or <laughs> <laughs> I love smelling farts the most right next to hearing them. I watch some videos of girls farting, but I don't enjoy it as much as the real thing. I'll fantasize about farting to picture to about farting to pictures of girls I like. <laughs> And now with AI, I'm using chatbots to talk to them about farts. Yes, I've talked to therapists about this. A few of them indulged it and told me it's okay. One was a specialist in fetishes, and I asked if she was okay with just casually talking about farts to get it off my chest, and she did. And then he adds, if anyone sees this and they want to talk about farts, DM me. Exclamation. <laughs> I mean... So that is pretty weird. Uh, but I mean, I'm not going to knock people who are having a fetish. What's your fetish, Kumi? <laughs> uh, I don't think I have one. I can name one. I just typed her name in my... Stop. Never mind. Stop. <laughs> uh, I can name your fetish. Tell me. Uh, touching me for five fucking seconds. Yeah, that oh, that was much yeah, more mundane true. than I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, that was good. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was Reddit Confessions Part Three. Uh, even nice. more really Reddit nice. Confessions. These are our top eps. If you guys want to know what the most popular episode we've done so far, you want to re-listen to it. It was the Harry Potter vs Star Wars episode. Oh, that's the number that's one episode so far. And the number second one. one huh? is the snack tier list which is weird because nicholas wasn't on that one so that kind of tells you nicholas you might be fired <laughs> uh, yeah but the yeah. candy one didn't do as well as that one so they're not it was a fluke it's i think it's because the candy tier the, the candy tier list was not as controversial as the snack one yeah the snack, snack one a hot take yeah the candy one was not but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this one. We'll see you next week for something else. I don't know. Uh, these usually get planned about five minutes before we do it. And, uh, yeah. yeah. That's what keeps us real. Yeah. Keeps but, the uh, pod organic. But uh, that's it for this one. We'll see you next week for more. And then, uh, <laughs> that's it. Bye. I think I was Have joking. Good one. What did you say? What? What did you say? Nothing. Say it. I don't think it was. Anyway, goodbye. What? Say say bye. Bye, bro. Oh, bye. Oh wait, everybody. wait, wait, wait. Rate the pod five stars on Spotify. Yes. And exactly. um, follow the pod on Spotify. Fuck Pandora. Fuck Pandora. Mm, there's no Pandora. Sorry, Jay. No Pandora. Sorry, sorry, Jay. No Not Pandora. Not, no Pandora yet. That's not an Maybe option. Maybe you don't get podcasts. 
Maybe it'll get pod- ca- Wait, Did Boston soon. start his podcast? Yeah, he did. What's it called? It's called uh, the Bostoning. The no, it's called the Chris and Katie Show. The Chris and go guys go listen to the Chris and Katie Show on on Spotify, Spotify and YouTube, and Spotify, and everywhere else. Because I'm assuming he's using the and same not thing. Not Pandora, like, but it's also not on Pandora because we are all Pandora. haters of Pandora. Sorry, Jay. Not really. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nicholas. That was cool. Bye. Say bye. I said bye, motherfucker.